Today we're opening mystery bags of leftover restaurant food. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. If you have never heard of the app Too Good To Go, well maybe you need to talk to some of our neighbors across the pond. Too Good To Go, not a sponsor, is an app that started in Europe, but in the last few years has been popping up in major cities across the US, so watch out. Yeah, it's good. watch out, y'all, hey, it might pop up. You gotta watch out. Its goal is to help reduce food waste by letting restaurants sell mystery bags of food they have left over at the end of the day at a highly discounted price. Oh, oh, and like moths to a flame when we hear <laughs> mystery bags of food, you know we gotta get into it on this show by uh-huh. opening up a bunch of them and figuring out if this app is actually as good as it sounds. It's time for Eating Restaurant Scraps Has Never Been So Fun, the Too Good To Go Challenge. Okay, Nerf Herders, in front of you are actual bags of food from Too Good To Go. Your job is to use your instincts to wind up with the best bag, or at the very least, a bag that doesn't suck. And it's important to note that these bags will vary in value, but we're not going to tell you the value up front. You're making your decisions solely based on how appealing each one sounds to you with the description given. Okay. I'll also give you the bag category, which could be any of the following. Bread, pastry, meal, grocery, or surprise, your first set of bags include leftovers from the following restaurants. Coffee Bean, Glendale, a fast casual coffee chain offering pastries, Mm -hmm. sandwiches, and drinks. Bag category, (laughs) meal, in-app star rating, 4.4. Okay. Italy, the Italian specialty grocery store, not to be awesome. confused yeah, with the restaurant, just the grocery store part. Okay, yeah. Bag category, groceries. In-app star rating, 3.8. Okay. Ikea, the Swedish in-store restaurant. Bag category, meal. And this one is new on the app, so they don't have a rating yet. And I'm about to ask you a trivia question so you can earn the power of choice. But whichever bag that you both don't wind up picking is going to go over to Chase. And that is why he's sitting directly behind you. I just thought he wanted to be close to the action today. He's the bag boy. (laughs) Yeah, well, not yet. Okay, take out your whiteboards. Got it. According to the EPA, What was the estimated weight of food waste per person in the U.S. in 2010? 2010? Closest Uh, to the right answer. I knew it for 2011. (laughs) Per person per the Weight of food waste per person in the U.S. It could be any, anything. Uh, It's a food waste related question because... This is to eliminate food waste. Okay. I think 257 pounds. I said 330 pounds. Wow, we're we're in the same ballpark. You're both not that far off. It's uh, 218.9 pounds. Yes. Got it, So, Link, Link, you get to choose your I know what you're going to pick, man. Dang. Dang. Uh, You think I'm going to pick Italy. I love Italy. Here's the thing about Italy. These are things... Things that go bad, that perish, and this is a grocery store. So then you're stuck with things that you have to cook with. I love it that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I love it that. This is a whole meal at Coffee Bean, and I. I what kind of meal can you have I'm, at Coffee Bean? I know, I know. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, you can have a great meal at Coffee Bean. Take it. I want you to but take I re- it. I mean, I really want those meatballs from IKEA, but I don't think the meatballs are going to be in the bag. Why? Because that's what everybody wants. What's the thing at IKEA cafeteria that nobody wants? But what do they do with all the like, meatballs at the end of the day? There aren't any. Nope. There's got to be at least an order I of meatballs. I think it's just going to be lingonberry cups. And you have to assemble them yourself. So I want this. Okay, well give, give, I, taking the give Ikea to Chase. Ooh, this is heavy, man. Yeah. This is heavy. Oh, snap! What you got? I got olive oil. I got pasta. I got well, more pasta to replace the pasta that just fell on the floor. <laughs> I've got more pasta. I've got, <laughs> I've got little cookies. I got a gingerbread man. I got a whole thing of rice. And I got tinned fish. Hey, this Let's is a pretty good days. score. 
This is a pretty good score. Oh yeah? What do you mean a score? It's not being scored. Score like that. Well, <laughs> we did we paid twenty dollars for the Eataly bag, but they call it a sixty dollar value. Heck so yeah. it's a pretty good choice. Pretty good choice. Everything's yeah. pricey there. I got this bag of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a baked good of some sort. Look at that. Oh, that looks like good. a whole meal. Coffee cake. Coffee cake. And look oh, at that. Oh, one for your buddy. Another coffee cake. And what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait up. Another coffee cake. <laughs> hey, Link, make what? a meal out of it. Whoa, 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 what? Another coffee cake? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's going to happen? I can't wait to see if it's. Yes, another <laughs> fifth coffee cake. Well, I've never seen somebody so excited about five wow. coffee cakes. Uh, so this is well, this is quite a meal. <laughs> we paid four ninety nine for that bag, but they call it a fifteen dollar value. Yeah, so. yeah, you can have it, bro. And it, it tastes really good. Well, can I have one of your five coffee cakes? No, this is my meal. Oh, okay. Well, you can't have any of my stuff either. Chase, what you got over there at IKEA? All Meatballs? right. So from IKEA, I got a clamshell. Of cheesecake. Oh, nice. that's not bad. It's no coffee cake. It smells you... good. Another clam shell with <laughs> salmon. I don't know if I want salmon. It's about to go bad. Okay. And salad. I don't see any coffee meatball. Cake? Meatball. Oh. Yeah, or dessert. <laughs> this is a. It's like a, like a hazelnut kind of a thing. I like Maybe. how Chase is okay. smelling everything. Because yeah, you well, think it's gonna be bad. So I don't know. Applesauce. That looks like it's gonna hold up. I think so that'll hold it. up. Yeah, I think it's fine. And then lastly... Meatballs, 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 it's meatballs. It's not going to be meatballs. Oh! <laughs> hey, dude, you're what sucks, you got? <laughs> the only one that's paid, good is mine. Uh, mine is great. Five ninety nine dollars for the Ikea bag, and they call it an $18 value. Okay, they can call it what they want. I got packaged food that I could take home and cook with, <laughs> exactly. Meaning I don't have to immediately eat my five coffee cake meal right now while we're sitting. <laughs> I can go out in front of the Ralphs or Rite Aid and, and say I'm like with the Girl Scouts and sell this stuff. Okay. Hey, uh, excuse me. Yes, we have a man outside uh, selling coffee cake? No, no. Yeah, he only has five of them. Well, four and a half. Okay, our next lineup of restaurants includes California Fish Grill, a fast casual local chain serving reasonably priced seafood bag category meal in app star rating 4.1. We like that place. I love it. Le Pan Quotidien. No, it's Le Pan Quotidien. <laughs> <laughs> A fast casual coffee chain offering pastry sandwiches and drinks, bag category surprise, in app star rating 4.2. Okay. Or Coffee Bean, this time Coffee Bean Studio City. Uh oh, okay. upgrade. Mm -hmm. A fast casual coffee chain offering pastry sandwiches and drinks, bag category meal 4.7 stars. And this time we're I'm not expanding meal. our trivia to the next natural subject matter from too good to go to too fast, too furious. Oh no, please, Stevie. Oh, can I answer? Is it about the ride at Universal? <laughs> it is not. Okay. Your question is, what is unique about this movie compared to the other Fast and Furious movies? Oh, I thought that was the name of the whole franchise. Okay, I'll give you some <laughs> options. <laughs> is it A... It's the only Fast and the Furious movie Ava Mendez is in. Okay. B, filming was paused halfway through while Ludacris recovered from an incredibly serious car accident. Ooh. Ironic. Much. C, it's the only film in the main movie franchise without Vin Diesel. Hmm. Or D, it's the only movie in the franchise shot on film. An assistant. An and insistence from the director. You know, Eva Mendes, she's got that dot on her face. It's called a mole. No, it's called a beauty mark, son. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I would just like to, I'd like to be in its presence. All right. What did you think? I thought it was Eva Mendes. Oh no, it was, it's Luda, man. 
I don't know. Loading it's in that car wreck. Vin Diesel. Oh, Vin Diesel wasn't it's in the Vin second Diesel. one? Well, now what What do you, What does that mean? How about another question okay. about yeah. Too I Fast, Too close. Furious? Yeah. More, more, more. The film was also nominated for four Teen Choice Awards. How many of those four nominations did they secure a win in? Zero. One. Two. The answer is two. <sighs> choice movie chemistry and choice movie fight slash action. Oh yeah, chemistry. Sequence. That's why I watched it. <laughs> All right, so you were close. You get to choose. Um, you know which one I want, and it's that fish grill. All right, I'll give you the fish grill. I'm taking La Paint. All right. Hey man, hey, Studio City. You're gonna get that repetitive crap. Uh oh. I've got one solitary bag. <laughs> is it heavy though? Oh. Okay. 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 La Paint. Means bread. Quante oh. means emergency room. A pastry? Another, oh, a chocolate croissant. Oh, oh. a brownie. What? A muffin? And a macaron? Macaroon? I don't know. It's not five coffee cakes, but Are it's you five different watching things. coffee bean and tea leaf? <laughs> That's how you do it. I'm gonna and we paid five ninety nine for that, and they call it a fifteen dollar value. I'll take it. I have three containers. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> and uh, this one, this one just has rice. <laughs> this one just has mixed veggies, mm. and this one has well, that's elote. Good. No, elote is good. Um, Where's the fish? Nowhere. It doesn't <laughs> even smell like fish. I can give you fish from Ikea if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little we, disappointed that there was no fish. We paid $4.99. They call that a $15 value. It ain't. I mean, I as we go through this, I feel like we should also, you know, is it worth it is the, the big question we're asking, too, with all these value price points. I mean, points. If you, you, I think you can bank on getting sides, and then at that point, you just order a thing of fish and gamble with the sides. Yeah. All right, and I got... That's soft. Ooh, okay. A nice sandwich. Oh, a full sandwich. That's a meal. Well, that's a meal. <laughs> I got another sandwich. Wow, okay, okay. Yeah, I bet I you're going to get five sandwiches. It's like a spinach wrap or a green wrap. Well, that's that's three meals. And There's not more. Done. I got another green wrap. I got another green uh, wrap. Okay, all right. So there's a little bit of repetitiveness. He's not done. And lastly, a cheese pastry. Oh, nice. No coffee cake. I feel like you won this round, but this stuff looks pretty good. This too. is this is good. And you said how much was the Well, we paid for coffee bean, we paid four ninety nine, they call it a fifteen dollar value, which that's, I feel like the value is m yeah, more. That's, that's at five bean great pa pastries for five bucks. Do you ever just go to restaurants when they're about to close and hang out in hopes that they're just gonna give you something? <laughs> uh, I've never done that, Link. I've thought about it a lot. <laughs> Reminder, Josh and the Mythical Kitchen team will be going live on the Mythical Kitchen channel tomorrow, Thursday, March 7th, to celebrate the Mythical Cookbook releasing next week. <laughs> so if you order a copy of the cookbook from the stream, you'll automatically be entered to have, their, have your copy personalized by Josh right there on the stream. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, our next lineup. These are, these are some hot, LA restaurants. Yeah, here. I love You've pizza got house. Bagel and Slice, which is kettle boiled bagels and pizza by the slice or pie, 100% organic and regenerative. Yeah, regenerative. <laughs> you buy Bad. a bagel, you eat it, and then it <laughs> makes yeah. another bagel. It's awesome. Bad category meal, in app star rating 4.7. You have Kitchen Mouse Cafe, a delicious Highland Park eatery with vegan, vegetarian, and gluten free options. It's Bad good. category breads and pastries, 4.6 stars. And Gwyn, a European-style fine dining restaurant and butcher shop in Hollywood that also has a program called The Pie Room, which makes savory pies, baked goods, and sausage rolls. Bag category, breads and pastries. No rating. Okay, so, so you're not going to get a steak. You don't think you can look at a sausage roll, though? Because that's kind of what I want. Gwyn, I Gwyn has, oh, man, they have some good meats. They okay, got some so good meals at Kitchen Mouse, too. But the thing is, it's just in the bread category. You can put your whiteboard away because we're ditching trivia for this round. Okay. And instead, uh, we're bringing back something that just the entire fandom has been knocking down the doors uh, for this moment. That's right. 
you're going to play Catch the Leftover Fish with Granddad. Oh. Best okay. two out of three gets the power of choice. Two out of three. What is the rule? The person who's shorter is the first person to fish? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, no, I'm fishing. Go. Okay, that counts. You All got right. it. I got you. Okay. <laughs> oh, you didn't, I, but I would have. Right, I would. I would have taken right. your thing. We're tied. It all comes okay. down to this. So if I escape you, I win, and if no. you get me, uh, yeah, yes. Okay, you got it. You got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, I thought I liked to think my parents. We should do a uh, whole tournament of that. I want Gwen. I don't think I've been to Gwen, and you were really excited about it, so I want to. I've been to multiple you dinners at Gwen. What? But I don't know bread though. I wasn't excited about the bread, so I don't feel too bad about that. Kitchen Mouse is great. I'm gonna stick with bagel and slice because the idea of slices of pizza is very, very appealing to me. You know, Kitchen Mouse, they're they're mythical beasts. They're over mythical there. beasts. I know. And neither one of us chose them. Which was I got. I just have so much bread already. You know what? That explains. I was right around Kitchen Mouse and I was wearing a mythical sweatshirt and a very cool gentleman was like, nice sweatshirt. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> and that explains it. He must be a Kitchen Mouse. I feel bad beast. that I can't remember his name right now. I think his name's Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, Jesse knows him very well because she's always o over there in that area. Can't remember his name, but he's a mythical beast who- Let me go first. Managing that. Okay, oh, this is a big bag inside of a big bag. Check this out. Ooh, you got it. That's a nice sausage roll. Talk about a reveal. That's how you do it. Oh man, this is a sausage roll, y'all. And that's got oh my gosh pepperoni pizza in it. I didn't know. Or ham. And then this is like a yeah, that's gonna be good. A juicy thing. So <laughs> it should be. We paid nine ninety nine. They said it's a thirty dollar value. There's an Italian sausage roll, apple pie, croque monsieur, monsieur croissant. And uh, blueberry coffee cake. That's yes! Very, very good. I have got what looks to be a bag of bagels. I'll find out in a second. And I think I might have a whole pizza. Is that even? No, no I've got four pieces of pizza. They just toss slices. And do, then I've you got. You want to do my rip? Well, no, because I want to take it home. I want to take these three bagels <laughs> plus one bagel. Four bagels, four slices of pizza. I mean, bagel and slice, I got what I wanted. We paid $9.99 and they call it a $30 value. All right, so kitchen mouse. Mm. There you go, that's kind of like what you that did. That was nice. Thank you. A coffee cake. <laughs> <laughs> Collard greens and a, scram like a cauliflower scramble. Nice, nice, and nice. some brown rice. Don't be bad. And then lastly, three bagels. Oh, it's not four though. I feel like that's pretty good. We I feel only like paid both of these are pretty good for that though. Uh, so it was cheaper, and they call it an eighteen dollar value. How both, much did you pay for ten dollars for this? We're the yep. winners. Ten dollars for pieces each of, of yours. Pizza, four bagels. Those are all great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like, I don't feel like any of these except the five coffee cakes was a huge disappointment. Right, so, and I like the idea of this, you know, eliminate waste, create some intrigue in your ordering. You it's know, like a you, mystery bag. Mystery you sit box. down at the table and you're like, what am I gonna get? And you can kind of, you can kind of predict what you think you're gonna get and then you can always go back and buy something else. You to maybe, go with it. Maybe get two. It's not like you have to commit to just buying once, you know? And like so you, you said, go. you could go, you could check it, and if you're not happy, you could go back in and supplement it with something that you actually want. Or just like store. chuck the bag back at them. <laughs> I think this is actually a pretty good service. I'm down for it. Yeah. Yep. Mythical approved. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, Rent Link. My name is Conrad, and I'm currently on Castle Hill Mountain overlooking Cambridge, England, where I've been studying abroad for the past five months. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Click the top link to see us guess what prop Dolly was given to generate some weird images in good mythical. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. 
The Mythical Cookbook is almost here. Pre-order your copy at mythicalcookbook.com and make your kitchen a mythical kitchen.